So the setting is modern day Tokyo. Monsters, including Godzilla, roam the planet, causing destruction everywhere. No one knows where the monsters come from, though they are all connected to a secret organization called Monarch. That's the premise of this new series that follows siblings who believe their family might be involved, an investigation into Monarch that goes back more than 50 years. Leading the early investigation starting in 1952 is Lee Shaw, played by Wyatt Russell. Take a look. Is that armor? What the hell does that thing need protection from? Us. Does that have your attention now? Joining me is Lee Shaw, our actor Wyatt Russell. <laughs> nice to be here. It's so great to have you. Thank you. That 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 anticipation, yeah. of bringing people right into it. Uh, this ten-part series, the Godzilla franchise is iconic. Where does this fit into that? This fits in uh, sort of in between in between all of them. Uh, there, there's a period in the 1950s. Uh, that you are getting explained to how Monarch maybe was created. Monarch is this organization that you don't know if it's, is it good, is it bad? Mm -hmm. uh, but they are tasked with, you know, figuring out what these monsters do, where they live, why they, wh why they are on planet Earth, how they are on planet Earth. And then uh, my, my dad, Kurt Russell, plays uh, older Lee in the future in 2014, before the Godzilla San Francisco attack. Uh, that some of the movies portrayed in 2000, right. 2015. So it, it fits in that time period, not related to the movies at all, uh, but kind of starts to explain why Godzilla exists and are, and, mon and monsters are in fact very real. <laughs> and you and your, your father play the same character just decades apart. Yes. So, and so yeah. you, didn't, you didn't actually act with him, right? There were no scenes together, but you had to play the same character. How did that work? So a lot of what we... A lot of how we prepped for the for, for the show was pre-production. We spent a ton of time talking to each other. <clears throat> he was on a boat in Europe, so he'd wake up at like 7 a.m. and I'd go on Zoom at 11 p.m. And we'd talk through scripts and wanted to make sure that the character that we were going to portray had an arc that would go from point A to point B. It had to end up where he was, but start where I was and needed to hit these transition points of, oh, that's where this happened, and oh, that's how he got to be that way. I think yeah. of like young Indiana <clears throat> Jones, they had to be another actor. Right. Like, this is well, the it was same funny. family. It was funny because my, everyone's always said, you look just like your dad, you look just like your dad. And it's like, yeah, totally, we, genetics are, are real. And then as we were doing makeup, and doing makeup tests and stuff, the makeup artists would go like, you know, like your nose is a little different. Like your eyebrow, like your chin, you don't you look some, anything like your Someone dad. in your face <laughs> like, really staring at your features. Uh, yeah. So we had to, you know, but we, we, we did, we worked with makeup and we made me look a little bit more like my dad. My dad was made to look more like him, Dennis Lidger. My dad's a makeup man of 40 years, did both oh, of our wow. makeup for the most part. And so we, we, we worked on creating a character that was, you know, unlike who we are as people, but similar. I asked you about, just before we, we, we started talking here in the air, what it was like to work with your father. And you had mentioned that it's nice you guys like each other. Yeah. So it must have been a great experience. It was. Like, it wasn't without, it's like, I don't think I should do that. I don't think we should do that. <laughs> I, I, well, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. It was, there was, there was ne never too many disagreements. It was always working the problem. And I, I look, I love my dad. I love working with, with my dad. It was a special experience. He uh, worked harder than I've ever seen him work on anything in his life, and he's 72 years old and going strong, so as a role model for anybody that was on set, I, I knew that about my dad. You know, my dad's, like I said before in interviews, he's a guy who's walked the walk for a long time. Yeah. Um, and it was fun to get to see other people experience what that was what that was like because it was you come in thinking like oh it's Kurt Russell he's just gonna be like yeah and you come in and it's like this dude's ready to go right he's ready to work he's ready to go to work business yeah. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and talking about it. Thank you for having me. Um, I really appreciate it, uh, White Russell. We, uh, we thank you. The 10-part series Monarch Legacy of Monsters is currently streaming on Apple TV+. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.